two years ago, I started self-improvement. And about three days, somewhat in that range, um, after I started it, I go to a party of the dancing school that I was in. And I was so excited for it because I was ready to do all the things that self-improvement taught me, right? Be present, be nice to girls, right? Be actually kind to them and don't be like the nice guy, but be kind. Look them in the eyes, hold the eye contact, all these things, right? I was excited to go there. And then I saw a girl and I had dated like multiple women um, at that point. And I just saw the signs of her wanting to meet up with me, to date me essentially. And... Like a week, I, th I think it was a week afterwards, we meet up and we first go shopping for like regular things, right? For dresses and everything. And she buys all the stuff, right? I'm way too poor at this point, right? I don't, I don't, I don't have money. I have like maybe a hundred bucks with me. And that's what I give like for the food, uh, for the food we want to eat. And then at one point she says, well, I need bikinis because they were like, her family was about to kind of, go for a holiday in France and in South France and she needed bikinis right because there was an ocean and all bikinis were basically too tight for her and we went bikini shopping because I said man this is sick I just go bikini shopping with this girl and I can touch her maybe right and I go into the cabin with her and she gets the bikini on and like we kind of get touchy a little bit if you know what I mean <laughs> and I see how well um the 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 bikini fits <laughs> and after that date uh um she was she was on this holiday right that she was buying the bikinis for for about two weeks and in those two weeks oh boy did i get complacent i had a ritual back then that went exactly like this get out of bed make breakfast go to the gym get back from the gym, then eat cake, like a cake, <laughs> like, like a cake, like a round cake, the full cake, um, while I had a movie. So I basically binge ate on cake while I was watching a movie. And that I was doing every single day. Then I went for a walk and then I went to bed. That's what I did. That's literally all I did back then. And I was like planning to do it so productive and every single minute is planned until I see her, blah, 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 blah. I didn't follow through with the timetable I made for myself. I didn't follow through with the routines I made for myself. I got complacent. And after those two weeks, she came back so happy to meet me and something was off. Something didn't feel um, equal to how it used to be uh, when we met the first time. The energy wasn't matching at all. And after that uh, date, which was very weird, right? We were just sitting around. No one was really talking. We were just looking into each other's eyes. Everyone's afraid to talk. And after that date, we never met again, except like last summer, then she texted me again, blah, 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 blah. Now, this made me very sad and it taught me a very valuable lesson. It was probably the most important lesson that I ever learned in my entire life. Don't get complacent. In this video, we're going to discover or we're going to discuss or I'm going to talk to you about habits you can do and habit routines you can do to get back onto especially like the high friction habits like meditation, stretching, for some people even gym. And we're not going to go over the basic start slow and build your way up again. That's complete bullshit, by the way. We're going to uncover something way different, which is the I call it the caveman recovery method. And it's basically recovery from complacency. What you do when you go through complacency is you think you're good, but you're actually not. And yeah, then you fall and then you know, oh shit, I actually know nothing about this. And many of these stupid self-improvement YouTubers will tell you, yeah, start with one set. Don't start with three when you get back into the gym. Listen, I'm going to tell you the exact opposite. If you've been complacent, you better catch up with your work. The work you left on the table because you were a complacent bitch you are going to do in the time frame that you have left on that timetable that you set for yourself. No deadline gets delayed, nothing. 
That's for pussies. This advice of get into it slowly is for pussies. Don't follow it. You're only going to lose. I tell you, do five sets. When you previously did three, do six. When you previously did one, do five. When you previously did 10, do 20. Overdo it. Literally go so fucking hard that you feel like you catched up. Because the way, the, the, the way bigger thing of complacency isn't the work that went missing. Let's all be honest. The thing that is the worst part about complacency is the memories you have. And us humans, we cry because, it know, because we know it could have been different. And I cried many, many times over that girl because it was the first girl that I ever actually like talked to in a real way. Like without being, being like set three feet apart from her and fucking um, like, oh, yeah, yeah, how was your, ge- how was your day? Mm, yeah, what are, what are your hobbies? Oh, how interesting. You listen to that type of music? I listen to the same. <laughs> Bullshit. Bullshit. And I was so sad because that was the first real interaction that I had with a, with a feminine woman. And I knew it could have been different. I knew that if I, was, if I wouldn't have been such a complacent piece of shit, I would have gotten her as my girlfriend and that would, and that would have been beautiful. So I cried over that girl once. <laughs> and would I do it differently right now? Probably not. Because what actually happened is this taught me the lesson of never be complacent again. Okay, never be complacent again. Because complacency hurts more than doing the work. Trust me. You are in a state of complacency right now or you've had complacency. And you know how much this hurts right now. You know what could have happened if you just kept going. You failed on your nofap streak because you thought, oh yeah, let's just try it. Mm -hmm." Bullshit. And I'm going to tell you, don't go easy in and then increase the volume again. Get hard. Go in as hard as you can. Don't follow the, the in general advice because that has never worked for me. It has never worked for me and it has probably never worked for you. Because this work your way up slowly is probably the more intelligent way. I'm going to be very honest with you. It's probably the most intelligent way. But in real life, in practice, right? In the actuality of things, in the harsh truth, building up slowly doesn't work. The guy who follows this advice instead of the soft soy boy YouTuber's advice is going to be sprinting ahead of you. He could have had three days more of complacency. He could have started four days later on self-improvement than you and he will be jumping towards you. And he will, over, and he will, he will overlap you. He will be faster than you. He will be stronger than you and he will have the girl that you want. And my question right now to you is, would you rather follow this gay, downright gay, advice online of youtubers telling you build up slowly one percent is okay guys listen these guys don't know what the fuck they're talking about they have never been in a rut because of complacency their version of complacency is i didn't study in grade school for three days when i was supposed to i have way worse stories of complacency that I could tell you right now. This is one of the most harmless stories about complacency that I have. Trust me, I know the pain of complacency and you do too. You know what to do. And I hope the Lord God gives you the strength to pull through and to not get complacent this time. Remember the pain that you feel when you failed because of complacency. Master your mind.